Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to continue exploring distance range finders. So I've previously looked at um, different types of uh, range finders based on ultrasound. And as we go through the electromagnetic spectrum, we also looked at um, infrared microwave, and most of them were based on light, and they're called LIDARs. So the projects that I'm uh, working on at the moment are uh, LIDARs, and in particular, we'll have a look at the mini LIDAR uh, using a Lotus computer. So uh, this particular one uh, uses as a very simple servo on a single channel instead of what we did before, which was more complicated. We used a 16-channel um, pulse width modulation, and uh, we were only ever used um, one, and at the most, two channels. So for most um, experiments or uh, projects that we're constructing on robots, we probably will only scan with one degree of freedom. So just let's have a look at the uh, the projects. So uh, first of all, we'll look at what it looks like on the desktop. So uh, on the bottom, we've got our uh, liquid crystal display. And on the top line, it's showing A for angle. It's currently at 34 degrees. And the distance for D is 224. And the signal strength of the returned light beam is 290. So right on the top right, we've got our mini LiDAR. And next to that on the left, we've got our Lotus computer. So um, another view. And on the bottom, we've got our LiDAR. And the LiDAR is mounted on a um, uh, servo. And it's... Um, uh, been glued into a uh, Lego uh, brick. So let's have a look at the objectives. The um, What I want to do is uh, demo a grow swinging servo, uh, and mounted on that is a mini LiDAR. And I'm going to um, swing that 180 degrees horizontally, and I'll show the results on the Windows serial monitor and on the uh, liquid crystal display. I want to check for accuracy and stability. So uh, let's have a look at the hardware uh, components that I'm using. I'm going to use a Lotus um, computer, a Grove server, and um, also from uh, Seed Studio with a Grove uh, socket is the mini LiDAR. And for the cables, I need to uh, change the um, uh, connection of the liquid crystal display uh, to a Grove connection. So I'm going to use a, uh, a Grove cable with DuPont female headers. And this time I'm going to go to another company called Key Studio for my um, liquid crystal display. And it comes with an I to C connection. Uh, it's a, a, bit, a little bit cheaper than the uh, Grove at the uh, time or the Seed Studio version. And um, the prices might vary. So you may be better off just getting the uh, liquid crystal display directly from Seed Studio. So how are they all connected? Uh, well, here they are. And uh, we might go across and have a look at um, the components, how they're uh, wired in. So um, we start off with the uh, Seduno Lotus computer. And uh, we need to connect that to uh, Windows PC for both programming and for reporting the results. And those results will be shown on the Arduino IDE, this, both the serial monitor and also the plotter. And we connect to um, D2, our um, LiDAR, and it comes with a uh, Grove cable. And to D5, we're going to connect our um, servo. It already has a Grove connection, and that is part of the um, 
uh, the servo unit itself. Next, we're going to connect the uh, Key E Studio liquid crystal display, and that uses an I to C connection. And all of those um, connections go on to the Lotus computer. And that's our um, hardware for the, um, the project. Let's go and have a look at the software. So um, what we've got um, is um, the software, which is actually written on the Arduino IDE. So rather than having a look at the text here, let's go across to the um, IDE. So I'm just um, looking for that now. Here we go. Okay, so um, here is the software, all written in C++. And we set up um, instances to support our LiDAR. And you'll notice that um, the package is supporting um, numerous models of LiDARs. And the one that we're actually using is the, um, the Mini. So you'll see a couple of other ones in the definitions here. We're not using the shell. We're using a, um, a standard UNO configuration for our computer. And uh, you can see when we do that, we're setting up the serial port uh, to two and three. And um, we just move down and we're setting up some of the variables for our uh, LiDAR. And um, for the servo positions, the minimum is zero. So pos min and pos max um, are the angles. And we increment that by one. So pos increment is the angular increment. Uh, we set up the liquid crystal display. Now that's a standard um, uh, from the um, Arduino library, but we have to get the version which is I to C compatible. And it goes on address um, hexadecimal 27, and it's a 16 character by two line display. Then we go up to uh, set up with the serial port, then the LiDAR. Now the LiDAR is actually uh, connected via a UART also uh, with a higher board rate. And it has um, some errors uh, when it returns the data. So we need to screen for those errors and uh, make sure we don't depend on the, um, the errors. We then attach the um, servo on port five, and uh, we set up a message. We set up the liquid crystal display. We've actually got um, a bit of a duplication there. So we might actually get rid of that one. We don't need that one. Uh, that's better. And um, we set up a very simple message right at the start, scanning LiDAR on our um, setup procedure. When we go into loop, we're going to um, swing the uh, servo uh, from the minimum to the maximum in increments. And uh, while we're doing that, at each time we get the distance from the get distance function, we uh, slow down by 100 milliseconds. And when we're getting the uh, distance, we're also um, showing the results on the serial port and the liquid crystal display. So um, once we do that for the um, clockwise direction, we then do the same with the anti-clockwise direction. And with um, formatting all the data in the um, uh, C, uh, the uh, comma format for uh, pickup by our serial port and the serial plotter. And um, that's the software. So uh, overall, I'm quite happy with the, uh, the results of the project. And um, just looking at those now, well, we might actually look at them. We were able to demonstrate the swinging 180 degrees horizontally of our um, servo with the uh, LiDAR mounted on top of it. 
and um, we were able to see the results on the serial port. Uh, here they are. And you'll notice that um, we are still getting some odd results, and you can see those down here. So I need to do a bit more um, software uh, filtering to eliminate um, uh, using those results. And you can see the results. Together with the uh, odd results that I'm getting from the wobbly. Now, what's happening there is that the servo is actually wobbling. And it might be overheating, um, but we're able to this time check the accuracy and the stability. Um, so uh, let's have a look. Sometimes we're missing line feeds, and uh, we're getting uh, the whole system is stable for about five minutes. And at certain points, it wobbles, uh, but it um, recovers from that. And that's the uh, the project. So if you're interested, um, you can hop on to um, Seed Studio for the Lotus computer, the Grove Servo, and also the Mini LiDAR. And uh, this time I'm using the LCD from uh, Key Studio and getting a bit of help with my uh, software development. Uh, from um, the Arduino uh, websites. And um, that's it from me. Stay tuned and I'll give you a desktop demonstration. This is the Grove Mini LiDAR and it's uh, mounted on a Grove servo, quite a simple one, uh, no extra um, servo interface and um, you can see that the um, LiDAR is moving around about um, one second per degree and um, it, both of the Grove components that is the uh, servo motor which is um, here there's the servo motor and the LiDAR uh, feed in to a um, Arduino compatible Seduno Lotus computer that has Grove connections on top. The other Grove connection um, is actually using a key a studio LCD display and we're converting the I to C cables to a Grove cable to fit into the uh, I to C socket on the Lotus computer. And um, at the moment it's reading the uh, angle and it's just incrementing the angle now and the distance that is um, 45 centimeters and the signal strength of the uh, LiDAR beam. And that's all been uh, reported also to a Windows um, computer and uh, you can see uh, on the Arduino serial plotter uh, what the measurements are also so it's just moving across at the moment and if I put my hand in front it might change the measurement so it's now 15 so um, at the moment you can see uh, I've got my hand in front of the LiDAR and I've got a very short reading and it should increase uh, on the next reading. So it's now gone to 120. And that's the um, mini LiDAR by Seed Studio which is Grove compatible.